And Governor Kristi Noem outlines her fiscal priorities for the coming year with an eye on infrastructure. The details are first on Fox Tonight. Governor Kristi Noem gives her fiscal year 2022 budget address at the state capitol. Good, good evening, everyone. I'm Aaron Dickens. It happened earlier today. The state was initially prepping to be way behind on its budget projections. But after accounting for coronavirus relief funds, the Noem administration says the state is now at a major surplus. Our Austin Goss has the story from Pierre. Governor Kristi Noem proposed a budget for the 2022 fiscal year today that consisted of $1.8 billion in spending. Much of that focused on infrastructure improvements across the state of South Dakota. The governor gave her budget address today in Pierre before a packed house of lawmakers. Now, South Dakota is entering 2021 in one of the strongest financial positions in the country. And today I will be unveiling ways in which we can further improve our state by investing in infrastructure paying off our debt from 2010 and bolstering our rainy day fund as good stewards of the public's money should do. Gnome's proposals include a bevy of improvements to state infrastructure, including dams, radio towers, and broadband access. The proposal also accounts for large scale improvements to a recreational center near Ellsworth Air Force Base in anticipation for the new B-21 bombers arrival. Legislators across the state recognize the importance of the B-21 coming to South Dakota. Not even for Western South Dakota, that is a big deal for the entire state of South Dakota. To build it out, bringing 14,500 people, that is a huge deal for all of us. And we are just in the enviable position of having the B-21 pick Ellsworth Air Force Base. Governor Kristi Noem also intends to raise salaries for state employees and teachers by 2.4%. Democratic legislators hope to fight for 3%. I just think we need to remember that budgets are about, about people and that we, we need to make sure that during this, um, this economic downturn and during this pandemic that we need to make sure that the people of South Dakota have the resources that they need. The governor will attend media events tomorrow in Huron and Rapid City, the site of where she hopes to see two of her biggest budget proposals come to fruition. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss. Thanks, Austin. And here in the Black Hills, Noam says her administration will be setting aside funds for new towers for state radio system in Rockerville, Keystone Hill City and Hot Springs to help first responders, specifically with wildfires, along with a new plane that Noam says will help with the fire response as well.